Shavua Tov, Agutavoch, and welcome to our program. Gut Yom Tov, tonight is Yutas Kislev, and the previous Rebbe calls Yutas Kislev Chag HaChagim, the Chag, the Yom Tov of Yom Tevim. And the previous Rebbe writes in Meir at the end of Yud Ches, Yud Ches Kislev, he writes these words, Gut Yom Tov, Lashon Otevo, Belimud HaChasidus, Vedalke HaChasidus, Tikosevo Vesechosemu. Good Yontev, in the a, a good year, in Limud, in the learning of Hasidus and the ways of Hasidus, you should be written and sealed. So this is the broche that the Freyadi Kerebe gives everyone on Yutes Kislev. Good Yontev, Loshon Otevo, Belimud HaChasidus, Vedalke HaChasidus, Tekosevo Vesechosemu. So this is an absolutely wonderful Yontev, and the previous Rebbe has mentioned calls you to Skislev, Chag HaChagim, the Yom Tev of all Yom Tevim. It is interesting, the Bishrebbe writes about it extensively, and it's brought, and it's um, mentioned by the Rebbe many times, that when the Alta Rebbe came out of, 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 of jail, when he was freed, he wrote a letter to, free, to three friends. And... Uh, to the Bliv Yitzchak of Bardichev, to the Bnochem of Chernobyl, and to the Boduch of Mezhibosh. And he writes in that letter that when I said till him before, before I came to, by the Posuk, Podob Sholom Nafshi Mikrovli, I was told that I'm freed. Yotzosi Besholim, Meashem Sholim. And there are several questions that we should address. Number one, the three, we can understand that I believe Yitzhak of Baldichev, who was a very close friend of the Alter Rebbe, we can understand the Mnochem of Chernobyl, but why did he write the letter to the Boduch of Mezhibosh? There was no big friendship between the Alter Rebbe and the Boduch of Mezhibosh. As a matter of fact, the Boduch was opposed to the Shita of the Alter Rebbe. So why, when the Alter Rebbe went out of jail, Yutas Kislev, he wrote a letter also to the Boduch of Mezhibosh? Also, what we have to understand, Yotzosi Besholim Me Hashem Sholim. What does this mean? Yotzosi Besholim Me Hashem Sholim. And although it's repeated all the time, what is the question? I once asked one of the Zikne Achsidim, who was, who, was, who was an absolutely brilliant individual on Chsidis, and he kind of was taken aback. He didn't really give me a, an answer. Plus, we know that there was a discussion once between the Alter Rebbe and the Baruch of Mezhibuz as to who was a bigger Meyuchas. The Baruch of Mezhibuz said that he's an enical of the Baal Shem Tev. No, it's good. So the Alter Rebbe said to him, is that an enical be Gashmias or not been an enical be Luchnias? Now you're talking about the daily Israel. And what are they arguing about? Who is a bigger Meyuchas? Yeah, we can understand two kids who come to the Tzetzoyim, Lava Malka, and they're each arguing who's a big amicus, my father, my mother, my grandmother, and so on. But G'deli Yisrael should argue about who is a big amicus. We will return to that in a moment. But first, our customary story. This Rabbi is an absolutely mind-boggling, mind-boggling story, but I heard it from the individual with whom it happened. And the story has a lot of details, but we're only going to go to the details that make up the main part of the story. He was in Panama City many, many years ago, and he heard that there are two Bochrim that are collecting money to open a Chabad house. Somehow, he met with them, and he takes out um, a lot of cash, $100 bills, and he gives them, and he says, take this. And they were like wondering, what's happening here? So he says, last night I saw the Rebbe in a dream, and the Rebbe told me that I should give a lot of money. And the Rebbe went with his hand like this. I asked it one. So he asked it should be $100? The Rebbe said no. I said $1,000? The Rebbe said yes. 
So this is a thousand dollars in cash. Please take this money from me. But the Rebbe also told me it should not be in Panama City. It should be outside of Panama City. After that, this is all part of uh, of a of many many details that he said. After that, um, a friend told him that he should come to his office and he should put on film. And he came and he put on film. Then he said to him, I am going to the Rebbe, to New York, and I'm going to go to the Ehel. So if you want, write a letter to the Rebbe and give it to me, I will bring it to the Rebbe. He was far from writing a letter to the Rebbe, but his friend asked him. So he writes to the Rebbe and he says, the Rebbe, give me a sign that I am on the right path. And then I will, I will start keeping Shabbos. A few days later, they invited him to a Fabringen, and one of the people tells the story that he met somebody, him, the same person, at a bris, and he put on film with him. The people were wondering, what's the matter, this fellow didn't put on film before, he looked like, uh, like he did, but in reality he did not. One of the people at that at, at that Fabling and gets up and says to me, if you promise me that you are going to put on film every day, I will get you the most beautiful, most perfect pair of film, four by four. But you have to promise me I'm not going to spend the money if you're not, if you're not going to tell me that, that you are going to put on film. So when he tells me the story, he says, Love it, somebody's making me such an offer and I should turn them down. I said, I promise you. And he got him that film. After that, he said the same person tells the story that he figured that he has the Rebbe, the Rebbe should send him a sign. Here's the sign. Somebody's offering him a pair of twillin to put them on every day. But he says in his own mind, he says, Rebbe, I accept that this may be the sign, but I want to be sure. So Rebbe, I am asking you, you should send me a dollar. That's what he said in his mind. Rebbe, I'm asking you to send me a dollar. The moment he was thinking that, somebody from the crowd gets up and comes over to him and gives him a dollar from the Rebbe and says to him, I got this dollar from the Rebbe. This dollar brought me a, a lot of success. I want to give you this dollar. So the moment he asked in his mind for a dollar from the Rebbe, he got a dollar from the Rebbe. There are many, many details to this story. I am telling you to the, 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 the main details that the person with whom the story happened told me personally. Rabbi Isai, we have a few questions. Number one, that the ones that we mentioned. Number two, the al Rebbe was incarcerated for 53 days. The Rebbe tells a story, the Rebbe by Fabringa told a story, that when the Alter Rebbe was in jail, he was visited by two people, by the Balshem Tev and the Masrit Shemagid. And the Rebbe says that he was visited by them Begashmias, they came the Shomes Begufim, into, into jail. In other words, they didn't come into this world in a spiritual way, they came, to, they came to the world in, in a physical way. The Rebbe even says we should check whether the room is big enough for three people. And not only that, that Alta Rebbe realized that Alta Rebbe knew the, the Masalich Magid. He didn't know the Baal Shem Tev, although the Baal Shem Tev is here, but Alta Rebbe was a child. But he realized that it was the Baal Shem Tev because he walked in ahead of the Masalich Magid. So that Alta Rebbe knew it was the Baal Shem Tev. And they came into this world Begufim Gashmim, in their physical bodies. And the Alter Rebbe asked them, Favos Kumtosmir, I'm sitting in jail like a criminal. What did I do to deserve this? Why do I deserve Favos Kumtosmir? Why do I deserve this? So they said to him, Because you're disseminating the tale of Chsidus. And therefore, there's a key to look, there's criticism on you. So the Alter Rebbe asks them, 
if that's the case, maybe I should stop? So they answered him, no. Since you already started, not only shouldn't you stop, you should do even more than before. This is the story that Rebbe told. And then the Rebbe says, let's analyze the story. The Alta Rebbe is asking a question. If there is criticism, and the criticism comes from above, and the Alta Rebbe even has a hava, maybe I should stop. So what's the answer? So they should have said, there's criticism, maybe you should stop. So they say, no. Since you started, you should not only continue, you should do even more. And the basic question is, so what has changed? The Alta Rebbe was in Tfisa for 53 days, and what has changed from the first day to the 53rd day? So we have to understand what happened here. Now, mentioned before that the Alta Rebbe had a conversation with the Baruch of Mezhibush, and the Baruch said that he's an enical from, from Balshem. The Alta Rebbe replied, you're an enical Begashmis, I'm an enical Beluchnis. Now, I heard from Chesidim that there was somebody who said, from the family, from the Baruch's family, said these words. I heard it from a few Chesidim, including Hagoyen uh, HaChosid HaMekubal HaMalachem Zev HaLevi Gringlos that a member of the Baruch's family said, Mit Peterburg is a durchgekommen, aber mit dem Peterburg is a nicht durchgekommen. The Peterburg was a reference to the Baruch of Meshebush. With him, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't close. He didn't get along with him. He finished, with Peterburg he finished, and he is out of Peterburg, but he's not finished mit dem Peterburg. What does that mean? And this was also shed light on the story with the conversation between the Alta Rebbe and the Baruch Meshebush, the fate of Baruch. There were some Talmidim of the Baal Shem Tev and of the Magid who were critical of the Alta Rebbe, that he disseminates the, 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 the teaching of Hasidus in a very broad way. One of them was the Baruch of Meshebush. The Baruch of Meshebush had that criticism. That he felt that, and this is what he said, since we're talking about the Baal Shem Tev, and I am a grandson of the Baal Shem Tev, so the Baruch Meshebush had felt, so everything that has to do with Tehlas of Baal Shem Tev should be according to what the Baruch Meshebush had wants. So the al Rebbe answered him, it's not exactly that way. You're an enical Begashmi is, and here we're not talking about the Gashmi is of the Baal Shem Tev. We're not talking about the Yerusha of the Baal Shem Tev. We're not talking about the Bismedalish of the Baal Shem Tev. We spoke about this, we're talking about the spirituality of the Baal Shem Tev. And that, I am an enical, said the Alter Rebbe, because he's the, he's, he's, he is the disciple of the disciple of the, of the Maslich and Magid. So now the Alter Rebbe is, was in jail. And the Alter Rebbe got out. When he said, uh, and, uh, 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 when he said the tilim, after the posik pot of so therefore the Al Rebbe is now sending a message to the Boruch. The question is not why the Boruch, especially the Boruch, the Boruch who had the criticism, but now the criticism is off. And what does the Al Rebbe say to him? Yotzosi b'sholim, I got out b'sholim. Why did I get out Basholim? May Hashem Sholim, because I made peace with Almighty God. The Rebbe to remove the criticism. There is no longer criticism. So therefore, the Alta Rebbe wants to tell the Bodo that he should remove his criticism. Yotzosi Basholim, May Hashem Sholim, because now I'm at peace with God. So therefore, it's not a question why the Bodo, it's especially the Bodo. The fate of the Buddha, that now the, the Alta Rebbe wanted the Bodo to remove the criticism. And this is the Pshat from Yotzosi Besholim, Me'ashem Sholim. What is left for us, and the Rebbe explains, what has changed between the first day when the Alta Rebbe was incarcerated and the 53rd day when the Alta Rebbe was freed? And the Rebbe answered, Nothing on the surface has changed, only one thing. The Messiah Snefesh of the Alta Rebbe. The Alta Rebbe went on Messiah Snefesh knowing 
Mitzedes Nefesh means that he, knowing that his life is at stake, and still the Alter Rebbe did it. It's that Mitzedes Nefesh that broke through. And now we understand they answered them, the, 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 the Baal Shem Tev and the Mazit Shemaget answered them, since you started, your Mitzedes Nefesh will break through everything. Not only shouldn't you stop, you should continue even more than before. And as known by Chassidim, there was Chassidim that were Fal Petalburg and Noch Petalburg. The Chassidim Fal Petalburg was, was very, very short. A posik, a few without, without a lot of explanations. The Chassidim Noch Petalburg were with great explanations. Not only because the Messias Nefesh of the Alter Rebbe was spoiled, not only that he shouldn't have to stop what he did before, but he should continue even more than before, as we saw happened Noch Petalburg. It was before Yutas Kislev, in the year Tofli Samach Beis. Tofli Samach Beis is 1902, and this is Yutas Kislev was the end of 1901. Chsidim came to Lubavitch. For Yitzchak Kislev, well, the Rebbe Nishma Satan was not there. The Rebbe Nishma Satan was in Moscow because he was helping his brother, Rabbi uh, Zalman Aden, in a certain, certain matters. But the mood in Lubavitch was a very morbid one, which means it's going to be Yitzchak Kislev, and the Rebbe is not here. Can you imagine how can it be Yitzchak Kislev in Lubavitch without the Rebbe? And there were some Chassidim who went. To the to the to the Rebbe Tzadik, the Queen Mother, the mother of the Rebbe Nishma Satan, and they asked her. She couldn't send them a fax and she couldn't send them an email, but she could send them a telegram, and there was phones. She should get in touch with him in Moscow, and ask him to come to Lubavitch for Yitzchak Kislev. She was a very very smart woman. My father used to talk about her smarts very, very strong. That uh, once there was a chosit who took a little mashke, maybe he shouldn't have said what he said, but he said to the Rebbe Tzadivki, Ihr weist nicht, wer euer Sohn is. What he meant to say is, you have, no, you have no idea who your son is. Smart woman that she says, she says, es ist mit genug, was ich weiß. It's enough for me that what I do know. So now they are saying to her, she should contact her son, and ask her son to come to Lubavitch from Moscow. You should be in Lubavitch or Yitzchak Kislev. So she answered him, listen, whatever we all know, my son also knows. And if my son made the decision that he is going to have to be in Moscow, then that's his decision, and I respect his decision. I'm not going to ch- ask him to change. But the mood in Lubavitch didn't change. It's before Yitzchak Kislev, and the Rebbe is not here. Um, the day before, there was a Depeche. A Depeche is a messenger that came to Lubavitch to say that there's a telegram or, or there's a letter, a registered letter from Moscow to Lubavitch. And they brought the letter. The letter is dated Tes Zayin Kislev Tofleish Samach Beis. Again, Tes Zayin Kislev Tofleish Samach Beis. And it starts, it's Bixav Yad, and it's printed in Kuntritz Mayan, over the whole page, from right to left. And it starts, Benishi Yichye, my son, to the Friedrich Kerebe. Tisasvu b'yutes kislev, abo aleinu l'tevo, you should get together in yutes kislev. Hameirim et Hoshayim, et Almideim, the teachers and the Talmidim together. V'tismechu b'simcha sachag. And you should rejoice in the Simcha of the Yom Tev. Asher Poto B'Sholem Nafshenu, it's a takeoff on the Tilim, that he has redeemed with peace our soul. Ve'el V'chayes Nafshenu Nitin Lonu. And the air and the and, 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 and the light and the vitality for our soul was given to us. V'kole V'adovo, it is close, that this day is Reish Hashonu L'Chassidus. This day is Reish Hashonu L'Chassidus, Asher Echilunu, Avesinu, Avesinu, Agdeshim, and then and it continues, He, He, Teras Abal Shem Tev. The previous Rebbe writes that they got together and they read, the, and they read this, this, um, 
this letter, and the letter made a tremendous, tremendous impact. Right after that, from all Cedish's towns, they asked that they should send them copies of the letter. And the Fidibidi Kedeba writes in, in, in detail, 100, 200, 300, 400, a lot of copies were sent of the Rebbe, of this letter of Tezai in Kislev, Tophadej, Samach Beis. As a matter of fact, the previous Rebbe writes the story that somebody took this letter and he went to the Bchai Mezel. The Bchai Mezel Gerzensky was the Rav in Vilna, but he was more than the Rav in Vilna, he was the leader of the Misnagdim. The Misnag Sherel, the leader of the Misnag Sherel, was the Pai Mezel. Whatever he said went. And one and somebody went to the Pai Mezel, Tvili the Kedeber writes that. And and said to him, just take a look at this Chsidim. The Mishnah says in Losh Hashonu Albo, Losh Hashonim him, there are only four Losh Hashonim. Only four. Come the Chsidim and they say they have a different, a new Losh Hashonu. Losh Hashonu Lachsidus Yutas Kislev. And he wanted to solicit from Rabbi Chaim Meza a derogatory remark, so he should be able later to say that Rabbi Meza said this, Rabbi Chaim Meza said that. Rabbi Chaim Meza answered, answered him, "By us, fault up, um, by they come to, by us it diminishes, by us by the misnagdim, um, by they by the chesidim, it adds. They have more. We get, we have less, and they have more." Tzvi Kedeber writes that, and there was a tremendous impact. About this letter of Tezai and Kislev Tofeli Samach Beis, Moskva. The question is, and you can argue with this, this is a great revelation. We call it Vadova that this is Rosh Hashanah Lechasidus, and it's interesting that Al Rebbe did not say it, the Mital Rebbe did not say it, the Tzemach Tzedek didn't say it, the Rebbe Malash didn't say it. The Rebbe Nishma Satan also didn't say it until Tofelei Samach Beis. Now he says, Tofelei Samach Beis, the Zion Kislev in Moscow, called the Vadova, that's closed, that this day is Yosh Hashanah Lachsidus. I want to suggest to you respectfully that Tofelei Samach Beis was a year of Gilui, a great year of Gilui, a great year of revelation. And why is that? It was the year that Rebbe was born. The Rebbe was born Yud Alef Nisan Tofli Samar Beis. And Yud Eskislov, the Rebbe was already in this world. So therefore, in this great year of revelation of Tofli Samar Beis, it's going to be Yud Alef Nisan, the Rebbe is going to be born. So this was part of the great revelation of the year Tofli Samar Beis. And that's why spe- specifically in this year, the Rebbe Nishma said to me the revelation, Kodi of this year is... Yutas Yutas Kislev this Yutas Kislev is Reish Hashono Lachsidus. Rabbi Say, this was Yutas Kislev to Feli Samach Beis. Since then, the Rebbe took Yutas Kislev. Feli Kedeber says it's Chagachaim, Chagachagim, and Yutas Kislev became the Grand Yontev of all Chasidim. Of all Chasim, today there are many many Yomim Tevim that Chasidim have. The, 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 the greatness of Yotis Kislev it was that the whole world, that the whole world knew that you can now learn Chesidus and disseminate Chesidus even more than before, and nobody can stop you. And as we know, Chesidus is the forerunner to what? To what Mashiach is going to teach us. The Rosh Hashanah Mashiach. Many people think, well, Mashiach comes and he's coming now. He's going to say a big pilpul on Hamachlif Paul of Bechamel, on Shnei Meir Zimbetalis. Well, the Rabbis, I have news for you. Hamachlif Paul of Bechamel, we learned already. Shnei Meir Zimbetalis, we learned already. Maybe we should have learned more. But that's not what Mashiach is going to tell us. Mashiach is going to tell us the esoteric part of Tere, the hidden part of Tere, which is what Tere Sachsidis is all about. Mr. Tzvinisel, the the hidden part, Seita Mel, or Mr. Tzvinisel, Seita Mel means the secret of her reasons and the mysticism of, of her treasures, as Rashi says in the beginning of Shir Hashirim. So this is what this is what the Mashiach is going to teach us. Tzvinisel is the forerunner to to what 
to the to the Yisgalos and to the Dosa Mashiach. So if somebody wants to live Mashiach Dik today, what should he do? He should learn Chesidus. That's the forerunner to what Mashiach is going to teach us. And this is the Rebbe's message to each and every single one of us. And that that's Chusim Hashem. We will prepare ourselves and, that, and the part of our world and refine ourselves and refine the part of our world and refine the entire world and prepare ourselves and the entire world for the Gulu Amitis Vyashlemo. Ovagolo de dan ova simcho of tuv levov ova teva nira ve anigle olamata mea salat fochim ova chesed uvelachamim ve takev umiyad mamesh.